This is a really interesting question, I think. Uh, how does Sabbath relate to um, shalom, relate to uh, spousal, resting in one's spouse, in a sense, and to uh, jubilee? And I think that I can see connections in, in all these areas. I think um, um, Sabbath is the activity itself in its consummation. So work tends to rest. Work finds its fulfillment in rest when work is complete, when one rests in one work as God rested in his work. In the same way that love tends to consummation, the love of a man and woman is uh, aims towards consummation. So we're back to some of these themes we talked about earlier of the instrumental and the terminal. There are some things which are instrumental that we do for the sake of other things, and there are some things in which we finally rest. This was a distinction that Augustine made between those things that are instrumental and those things that are terminal. And in our world today, we're so entirely preoccupied with what is uh, terminal, sorry, what is instrumental, that we sometimes forget what all of it's for. So I think in the same way that love finds its consummation, finds its uh, its uh, fulfillment in, uh, in conjugal union, so all, also work finds its fulfillment in the kind of Sabbath rest um, that we've been talking about. So there are there are definite parallels there, I think, and that's uh, maybe a clue to that is even these this imagery in terms of the wedding supper of the Lamb, and the way in which even that final eschatological heavenly rest is pictured in terms of the image of spousal union. Uh, jubilee takes us a different direction. I think where uh, what jubilee reminds us of is I think uh, like Sabbath, the jubilee laws in the Old Testament and the need. Uh, for a year of liberation, there I need to reset things. Is it just reminds us that creation has its limits? That creation, the the message in scripture is that creation is abundant, right? And so often we get caught into we end up having problems when we just see creation as a place of scarcity, and then it ignites all the um, the instincts for greed um, or um, or for fear. And the, the message of Scripture is that creation is a place of abundance. It's a place of sufficiency and abundance, but it's finite and it's limited. And so fields do need to be left fallow to recover their fertility. And uh, Jubilee, I think, uh, speaks to that kind of recognition of limits in the same way that Sabbath does. So I think it, it points us back to the fact that we are created uh, beings. We are finite beings, and the joy of that is to live within those limitations in a way that's healthy.